Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Kansas City Royals franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA, Northwest Arkansas, up to AAA Omaha. Last time we were in AA to go over outfield prospect DeAndre House, and we're going to be staying in AA to go over catching slash corner infield prospect Tommy O'Doul. Like I said, O'Doul is a catcher slash third baseman slash first baseman. He is a right-handed bat, throws right-handed, obviously. He stands six foot two, 209 pounds. He is 21 years old, and I believe he was a fifth-round pick because I believe we had some sort of compensa compensation. So we had two first-round picks in the 2020 draft, so I believe he was a fifth-round pick for us. And he is from Massachusetts, the college of Boston College. They call him the BC Kid. Locked in Brockton, the nuisance from Massachusetts. And as far as Tommy O'Doul's attributes go, he's currently sitting at a 70 overall. He is a C potential, so he doesn't have the greatest potential, but he does have the ability to up that up if he does play well through the minor leagues. And the big thing about Tommy O'Doul is his versatility. Yes, he's listed as a catcher, but I'm looking at more of him as a third baseman slash catcher to be possibly a guy who could possibly end up being Mabry's Valoria's backup someday, or maybe even compete for a starting third baseman job down the line. And as far as his bat goes, he's got a pretty decent bat. He's got 66 contact versus lefties, 55 versus righties, which makes sense because he has a right-handed bat, so it makes sense that he's better against lefties. Uh, same goes for power, 50 power versus lefties, 42 versus righties. Definitely not bad against righties, but it's definitely better against lefties. He's also going to walk quite a bit. He's already got 75 discipline, 51 vision as well. Vision's not the highest, but I'll take the high discipline because you like to see guys with high OBP who can hit as well. And as far as his defense go, O'Doul is not the greatest defensive catcher, mainly because his blocking attribute is 53, not the greatest blocking uh, rating there. But the rest of his stats are actually pretty good. So if you move him over to third base or even first base, he's definitely an above average. I would say, maybe not above average, but at least an average. Pretty decent defensive third baseman, I would say. He's got the arm to play there with a 73 arm strength. And then he's got pretty good fielding to play there as well with 65 fielding and 60 reaction, which are just going to go up as he goes throughout the minors. So Tommy O'Doul does have the potential to be a pretty decent defensive player as well having a pretty good bat. So he is a guy, like I said, who I'm looking at to maybe possibly be a starting third baseman for us down the line somewhere since we don't really have a future there right now. Or he could possibly be like a backup catcher slash starting third baseman, or just a backup catcher and then a guy who could play some corner and feel for us whenever we need it. But with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Prospect Profile of catching slash corner infield prospect Tommy O'Doul, the BC Kid. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. <laughs>